Well, things set up right tonight. The gorilla could be making an appearance, at least for some of us. Had a corneal mass ejection, just an ejection of plasma off of the Earth. It's traveling toward the area right now, and at this point, it looks like it's projected to arrive later this afternoon into this evening. As we took a look at the affected, expected KP index, calling for about a 5 to a 6. The best time to see this, at least at this point, looks like it'll be during the evening hours after sunset. We're just about the shortest days of the year, so it gets dark pretty early, about 5 or 6. So between about 6 and 8 o'clock will be the best time to view it, around 6 there, then gradually decreasing as we go through the night as it moves on by us. Now, you ask me, what, what does that mean? Well, KP of 5 is basically about the northern border. It's a good chance of seeing it. To really see a good display in Wyoming, we want about a 7, which comes through the middle part of the state. Now, the horizon usually extends a little bit further south than this. Now, Space Weather Prediction Center has about a 5. This is a conservative forecast, so view line on the horizon. Coming through the northern part of the state here, but it could extend a little bit further south. These forecasts are not perfect by any means. It tends to be very fickle, so maybe a little better chance than this of seeing it. So some viewing tips, you want to get away from city lights, a dark place. This is Wyoming, as I've said before. That's not that hard to do around here. Look to the north and northeast, that's where it originates from, from the North Magnetic Pole, which is actually over Baffin Island. Allow your eyes to adjust to this. Now, if you look out on the horizon with your naked eye, it may disappear as a glow on the horizon. You want the best sight to see it is through a camera, even through your cell phone, put it in night mode, turn the exposure up. You should be able to see those colors if it's out there. If you want to do photography, you want to use a long exposure, at least 5 to 10 seconds, maybe a little bit more if you want more colors to pop. And if you're taking pictures, obviously, you want to use a tripod if possible, because trying to hold the camera steady for that long, you may get some blurry images. Now, the next thing you're wondering is what's the sky cover going to be like, and it looks pretty good across much of the area. There will be some clouds around, but for the most part, everyone will have probably cloudy skies, I think, at the most. Many areas seeing mostly clear skies. A lot of this could be patchy fog in this area, so you won't have to travel too far to get away from it. And I know it says 8 to 11 p.m., but this is a good average probably across much of the evening hours until about 11 o'clock when the aurora may be shutting down. So, can you get out there? Look for those dancing lights in the sky.